Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here with a new video for you guys. Simple, cute, and classy for the holidays. I was thinking about so many styles that I wanted to do, um, end up not really doing it. Also, my hair, I don't know if I ever shared it, shared it with you guys, but my hair is kind of thinning um, in certain areas of my head. So I'm just like, you know what? I don't really want to manipulate it too much. I just want something that when I'm ready to go out the door, I can just go out the door without like low maintenance just a low maintenance style that's still cute i can still go out clubbing with it well not clubbing because everything is shut down but just for your everyday if you don't have the time or just don't want to be bothered with your hair for you know when you're ready to go out or what you have to do um this is the style this is definitely going to be my style for a very long time i think i'm giving up wigs for like a good minute um and i'm gonna show you guys how to do this quick for braids you can add this is optional you can add the curls if you want to um just like to play with it to make it like you know more a little bit more elegant a little bit more fun so as i always say enough of me babbling let's get right into the video all right so if you're gonna try this hairstyle out for the holidays or whenever you come across this video in the future i started out by parting my hair right down the middle low key boobs between you and i i'm becoming a perfectionist and i went back in using some gel just to clean up the part, it's a trick that I keep seeing online and you'll highly recommend it. Highly recommend it for a clear, straight, clean and neat part. But yeah, back to that back to the directions. So once I did that, I put one one half of my hair in a scrunchie, or if you have clips, whatever you have, just put that side away. So you can work on each section one at a time, which helps especially with um parting you know like if you're going like on a diagonal it really helps to just see each side clearly and work on it separately once that was done um i went in with my cream of nature hair milk because i don't know if i ever mentioned it to you guys but my hair when i did the hair strand test to find out my porosity i do have low porosity hair so hair milk is very lightweight and but it also keeps your hair moisturized if you do have low porosity hair so i did all of that goodness and um then i then went on to use my gorilla snot and this really helps to mold my hair like really keep that hair together when it's time to braid and you know you don't want to you don't you don't want no flyaways you want everything to be nice and neat okay so gorilla snot came through for your girl for that part um and what else am i missing yeah the hair that i use pretty much i use marley hair um, this is mostly used to attain like crochet styles, faux locks, or like if you want to put your hair in a bun and you have like my type of hair, it really resembles our texture so you like add it to like your bun. Um, but I use it to do my braid instead because that's what I had laying around and you know like you know we all have like that storage unit, that hair storage unit. <laughs> so I had that laying around and I was just like let me just use Marley hair which i have like so many pros about using that hair for one it resembles my hair to a t like it looks natural as hell for two it is easy like when i tell you it cuts down the time from like separating and like loop de loop and all that stuff like marley hair when you buy it, it already comes sep like separated so like you just pick up and go so i love that and for three which is the most like my most favorite reason is once I'm done like there's no trail of a million pieces of hair following me and ending up in places that it should not be like the next day okay like there are times where I would wake up from using like the other types of hair which not bashing them I'm just saying like the like their one con is like the residue of all the hair all over the place I would go to the bathroom and legit have a strand of hair in places it should not be and I'm just like but how did like how did you get here you know like a mystery but with Marley hair there's none of that like there's no trails of that that's what I like about it so in total I use about 12 pieces of the Marley hair um, so three piece per braid because I wanted my bun to be a medium size and I also wanted the braid to be a medium size to kind of bounce out my forehead. Um, but I could have easily done this hairstyle just using my natural hair but because of um, what I mentioned earlier on, this is why I chose to add some extensions.
if you want to go the extra mile and be extra like myself and you want to add some curls I use the brand free trust braid and the curl pattern is bohemian so bohemian curl there they have a ton of different curl patterns so you could pick the one that you know that's the, that fits your personality or whatever if you have a stack stashed away like I did within this case um, you can use that as well I did kind of like trim it off because it was really, really long and I didn't want it that long but um, that's the type of curl that I use and I just crocheted it into the ends of the hair which I will show you guys and then I added two pieces um, on top and the front and then I added some on the sides because I love I don't know why but like I'm really obsessed with like side side curls or side birds whatever you want to call it so that's all that I really use to achieve this hairstyle and that's pretty much it it took me in reality about like an hour and a half but that's because like I'm not really used to braiding and when I do like I'm kind of slow with it but for someone that's that's been braiding for a while and like they you know they they're quick with it I'm sure they can achieve this entire look in like 45 minutes an hour tops all right so lastly what I did is I just put like the ends of the hair into a bun and then the curls that I crocheted into each braid, I did like two per braid. I just kind of like wrap them and like going in um, counterclockwise and clockwise so it can kind of like fall off of the bun to give it like a bohemian type look, which you guys will see in the end what I mean. And that's all. That's it. <laughs> video hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below and give me a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't talk people vu love you goes on and see you guys in my next video ciao